everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be making slime. Not any slime, we're going to be making slime. So the first thing you're going to need, of course, a cup, or a bowl, whatever you need. And you're going to be needing glue. It doesn't really matter, we're going to have your glue. I'm just going to be using this cow, this cow right here, because look at its face. It looks like it got murdered, poor cow. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open your glue and pour about as many like if you want a big slime you keep on pouring as much glue you need to and this video to the video that you're watching was supposed to go up yesterday but yeah it didn't really work out I'll, I'll talk about that later so after you're done putting some glue in like I did after done putting some glue in you want to get some Tide. You want to use Tide. If you don't, if you don't use Tide laundry detergent, it will not work. I use this other laundry detergent, and it did not work at all. And that's why the video is supposed to get uploaded, and it it didn't work because I didn't have this one. But yeah, you want to get a little, not that much, but pretty much a bunch. Yeah. You want to kind of pour a little bit in. After pouring a little bit in, you want to get your little mixer. I'm going to be using a pencil because, you know, I couldn't find anything better. And after that, like, if, uh, if you mix it, like, it starts getting chunky. Like, see how this is kind of already getting kind of chunky? You don't want to keep on mixing it. If you keep on mixing it, it'll get thicker and stuff. But if it gets too sticky, then you want to add a little bit of more of Tide. And if it gets super gooey and droopy, you want to add some water. Because if you don't add any of that, all that stuff, it's going to it's gonna be a fail. Like, I, I tried to do this for my brother. And it was a fail, but we had to do what his um, slime I made for him. Sitting um, out on a paper plate. About four, four or at least 30 minutes, then it was ready. Okay, this is kind of droopy. So you want to add more Tide in it. Then after that, mix it up again. You just want to get it the right, right. Because if you don't get it right, then it's going to be too fat and too, um, this color. And you can add any color you want to, but the way to add color in it, you could use food coloring but if you don't want to use like food dye and stuff you can use paint that's what i used and i made red it, it did not work that good but it still worked i got a paint all over my shirt and it was okay but yeah after i'm mixing it for a while i keep on mixing it really hard but you kind of want to pick it up with your hand it's kind of the disgusting part you want to pick up the whole slime with your hands. Ugh. So after picking it up with your, sl um, your slime in your hands, you kind of want to squeeze out some of the um, Tide juice. I'm just going to call it that. And you kind of want to keep on smushing it together with your hands. And if you want to, get some water. I have some water here. Dip your hat thing in there. Have that, you want to dip it in like super fast and have that start mixing with it. And if it gets, if it's just like not really stretchy how you really want it, um, get more glue and just put it in your hands because, you know, this is a really messy thing. But you want to get the, you want to get it the right thing. If you don't get your slime the way you want it, then it's kind of sad. But, yeah, you want to keep on mixing it. Ugh. And if your slime, if your slime is too sticky, remember what I said? Put some more Tide in it. Like, see how this is really sticky? You want to put this back into the cup, your mixing cup, and see how it's really sticky. Yeah, but you want to get more Tide and pour it in. After pouring more Tide in, you can you can do it with the pencil, but I prefer to do it with their hands because their hands do more work than the pencil because their hands are moving faster than the pencil. Now that you can move your hands like super fast any way you want to. But yeah, see how this is working? See, it's slime. If you don't want to, if you just want it to be like this, then you can. 
but some parts aren't really that good so it's like that so times sometimes you need to add a little bit more glue but this time we're only gonna add like a little bit like this much and after we're gonna end because you want to keep on mixing it and try to get the right if you don't get it right then it might be too sticky or too stretchy or it won't it'll just fall apart and not even work and you want to keep on mixing it around in your hands to get it it's really messy though so yeah don't really do it around stuff Ugh. see how it's all over my hands it's really disgusting i'm gonna add some more water in it because it's kind of too sticky to dab it into water and keep on mixing see after you're done you need to wash your hands the minute you're done if you don't do that it's gonna be kind of disgusting because you know it's all over your all the tides all over your hand and after you after when you're done you want to squeeze after you're done making your slime like Right now, I'm pretty much done with it. All I need to do is kind of squeeze this um out all like the tide. After squeezing out all the tide, you want to um after you're done squeezing out all the tide, pretty much it will be like this. But to get it way better and not be too wet and like droopy, you can get any plate. Like okay, let me go get a plate over here. Yeah, come down over here. Yeah, plate. Okay, after you're done putting it on the plate, you want to let it sit for about 30 minutes. But about each five minutes, you want to see if it's more, if it's more, just keep on being more droopy. Just keep on squeezing it. And this is how you do the color. Get your any color you want to. And I'm just going to use red because... Yeah, you know, red is the most color I have. I don't know why I didn't have the paint up here. But yeah, you use any color you want to. I'm gonna be using red and they get just like you just score it onto the paint. Like I did right there. See? And after squeezing it onto it, just keep on mixing it around in it. The paint, it's it's kind of if you're gonna use paint, you kinda of need two plates. And you can uh, wash your hands about a few times. But if you keep on mixing it, see, look, it makes red slime. And if it's kind of pink on some areas, keep on mixing it into the paint or add more paint. And, like, it'll make it the right color you want to. And, yeah. So, see, it's kind of like this. And if you have it all together, it will be kind of like this and kind of not good like this. And if you try to compact it together again, and it'll still be like this. It, it doesn't mean you're gone, like, gone wrong with it. Just let it sitting out, and after when you're done, it could stick. Same thing happened to my brothers. But if you don't want that much paint on it, you kind of want it to be, like, a pinkish color. Or you want it to be kind of, like, slimy area, and you already want to play with it. Just put in water, and after that, boom. So, yeah, this is how you do a DIY slime video. I'm kind of short on this, but who cares? And yeah, this is going to be this video, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, look at my hands. I'm, I, I'm going to need to wash these. Yeah. So yeah, this is how you do the DIY slime video. So yeah, remember to stay awesome, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, stay awesome.